Hello there, and welcome to the golf club. My name's John. I'm going to take you through the course creator section of this game that we've been doing here at HP Studios for the last few months. So we will show you just how easy it is to make a brand new course from scratch. A lot of the menus here are still kind of a work in progress. We have some placeholder art. Um, the whole game is still really a work in progress. So, so yeah, keep that in mind as we venture on into this uh, course creator. Okay, let's uh, create a new course. We use the same flow if you're editing an existing course. But uh, so here we have our themes. It's kind of the palette you're gonna work with for your new course. Let's go with the Alpine theme. Now we have a few high level options that you can tweak for starters. You can see here, let's, uh, I'll show you, the terrain's gonna auto generate as we tweak the number of trees that we want. You can see, boom, there it goes. So let's put a, the trees back up. I kind of like it. I kind of like it cozy on my course. Okay, we'll move on. You can give uh, one or 18 holes to your course. I'm going to go with 18 here. And just like that, it's turning away. Brand new layout. Randomly generated new course, just like that. No one has ever seen this course before. No one's ever played it, uh, but uh, I'm gonna go play it right now. Hello there and- well, Hello to you too, you handsome sounding fella. Let's get out there and have a so immediately you can go down a whole level. Put the first drive down the fairway here. Give this course a nice christening here. See how it plays, see how it looks. Let me go down the pipe here. Nice. Looking at 125 yards. All right. To the here. Let's just pop back here and make a few more tweaks to the course. So I'm going to start with some high level stuff. Okay. So in settings, we have theme, like we saw before, up at the top here. We'll change the course layout, which is the number of holes. Uh, the number of part threes, part fours, part fives, etc. Time of day. We'll show you a time of day a little later. Also, we have terrains, fairways, greens, and rough. We'll go into fairways here first. Okay, zoom out. So let's change the width of these fairways. Fatten them up a little bit. Okay, number of hazards. I'm going to give this a crank. You can see them populating here down below. Some sand traps coming up in our fairways. Let's change the slope of the greens a little bit. This will kind of flatten them out. Or you can make them kind of undulate a little more. You can get the size of the greens larger or smaller in general with this slider here. You can see green number two there. Um, so when we crank up our size automatically changes the size down on your course so you can also tweak the number of hazards around the greens separately from the fairway bunkers here okay so let's go down and pick a hole I'll go through a hole with uh, with you folks we can really get some tweaking done to one of these holes So, hole number eight, I think I might like to take us through here. Let's go down and just play hole number eight. Okay. Hello there, my name is... Oh yeah, seeing some interesting debug text on the side there. Best cheese, good moose. As I said, uh, game's currently still under development. Let's get back to the, to the hole here. Get over this water with our driver. Okay. So, what we're going to do, 
Okay, so you're in the rough here. Okay, I think I'm gonna make this into a par three. So let's go back, edit course, right on the fly. Let's find the hole, number eight here. Okay. So there's a T below us, green above us. So we'll start by moving the center of the fairway. Let's get our move tool. Move that point back here. And then we can go back and move the green as well. So let's see, we just plop it in the water. Nothing like a bit of an island green. Peninsula, I guess. Not bad. Hello there, and let's go back down to hole level and see how this new hole layout works for us. We got 209 off the tee now. Okay, wind's behind us. We'll go with the five iron here. See if we can stick the green. Okay. We're going straight. Looks a little bit long. Yeah, I've had worse. Okay. Might go ahead and move that green. I might tweak some of the sand traps around the green too. Actually, you know what? It did a pretty good job on its own. I'm just gonna leave those. So I'm gonna just nudge it forward, I think. It, this will give it a bit of a better distance uh, using that five iron. Just a smidgen closer here. So, okay, well, let's just go see how this, this feels now. Hello there, and welcome to Going with the golf. five iron again. Here we go. Heading for the green here. Okay. That's pretty nice for our five iron now. You can see the slope of our greens coming into play like we were tweaking before with that slope parameter. Just noticing some uh, more debug text. Uh, we have an interesting Twitter feed at the moment. Hashtag banana pants. Let's get back to the hole here. Might add a little bit of a runoff area to the back of the green here. I think that might be a bit useful, especially if you overshoot this green, if you got some wind behind you like we've seen. So we can go to create, sculpt landscape. So let's raise the terrain here. We can pick our shape. Choose this shape here. Watch this. Just bring the terrain up through the water. Okay. So when I hit the button, it creates a little bit more of a back to this green. Maybe add a little bit more here. Raise it up. There we go. I think I might want to add a little bit more around this side. Let's go back to create, sculpt landscape, pick our shape. Lost it. Okay, back in business here. So this time we're using the under course option. Bring this up a bit more. There we go. Little more safety. Quite like how that's turning out so far. 
So let's go back down onto hole level and uh, yeah, we'll just see our changes, see how it's feeling. Back with our trusty five iron. Okay, so we got a little bit more security back there. It's not going to totally kill your score if you happen to fly the green a little far. Actually, you know what? I think I might even move this flag a little bit. Just attempt. Just attempt you. So, we'll place the flag. Let's place it near the back. Hello there and welcome. So yeah, this might uh, kind of tempt the, the golfer to really go for the back of that green. And let's see. Heading for the Okay. Uh, yeah, I see. Here we go into our runoff area. Okay. So, a couple more tweaks. One thing that's kind of neat, I well, one thing I like is tweaking our time of day I talked about earlier. Let's get a nice little view happening here. Okay, go back into settings and time of day. So we have orientation, inclination, and time. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the time back into the morning hours. Get some nice morning sunlight going here. You can just kind of move the sun around, really. We get some shadows that we like. You can really make things pop on your course with just kind of tweaking some of these time of day settings. All right, there you go. So there you go. I mean, that's just a couple tweaks to a hole. Um, you can do this all day if you want, you know, you can really go deep with this. So let's get back down to hole level, give it a one last playthrough and see how everything's sitting. We have our new pin placement uh, in the back of the green, so let's give this one last rip. Great contact, nice swing. Yeah, thanks. Heading for the green here. There we go. Oh, thank you, Mr. Course Designer, for allowing us to have a little runoff area at the back of the green. But on a serious note, thank you for, for watching our video. We're super excited about this game at HB. We hope you like the video. We hope you like the game. And we hope to see you out on the course.